it's Comic Artist Pro Secrets. I'm Ethan Van Skyver, and yeah, this is the grand mommy of non inclusive toys. This is the matriarchal horses of the apocalypse, right here. Okay, um, these are not made for boys at all. At all, they're not. They're not. Look at them. No little boy wants to be told he has a little pony. No man wants to be told. He has a little pony. No man wants to take ownership of a little pony. A man wants a girthy stallion. That's right. My girthy stallion. Now listen, these these toys, my little pony, these were around my house a lot because I have four sisters. And these things have no play action, no play value whatsoever. I mean, basically they're made out of the same substance as a doggy chew toy. Um, they have that synthetic hair that's made out of plastic. That's actually pretty cool when you you know, set fire to it, it shrinks up and it smells interesting. Um, but these were, uh, absolutely worthless to play with. There is no posability, no articulation and all they're meant for, they come with a comb. So you can sit there and comb their synthetic mane and tail all day long. That's what, that's what they expect little girls to do. And that's fine. If that's what little girls want to do, that's fine. But you can't condemn us boys to that. And that's why this toy's getting an overhaul. Yeah. Uh, let's re redesign this guy right now and make it into my girthy stallion. Uh, definitely, we want uh, girth is the key word here. I mean, length is important, but girth is uh, uh, also vital. So we want to make this horse very thick, give him demonic eyes. I mean, the way I see it, uh, this is the kind of horse that uh, uh, would kick a rodeo clown until he was in a coma. I mean, that's what I want. Like, I, I want this horse, like, I want to be proud to own this horse. I want him to breathe fire, like, out his nostrils. Yeah, he's got to be dark, too. Midnight Black. Ooh, is that his name? Is this horse's name uh, Midnight Black? I'll think about it as I draw him. Give him a nice wild mane. Uh, this horse would not come uh, with a comb this toy now the wilder uh more unkempt his mane became uh frankly the cooler he would be yeah yeah he belongs at a megadeth concert oh it's perfect big thick neck thick and girthy i mean that's the that's the um stallion that I want. That's that's my stallion. And I really think the ladies would like it too. I mean, they say they want a My Little Pony. I don't know. I don't know. I have my doubts. I think if you offered this to uh, uh, just about any woman, uh, she'd be quite happy with this and probably prefer it to Flutterby or whatever uh, those little ponies are. What are their names? Who knows? All right, so we're going to give him a nice skull. Uh, you know, My Little Ponies are known for having markings on their rear ends. That's fine, I mean, but this guy's going to have a screaming skull on his butt. I don't know if it's a tattoo or what it is. But, I mean, this horse came straight out of hell. And he's coming for you. Can you imagine? Like, yeah, you're sleeping. He crashes right through your bedroom window, puts his hooves on your chest, breathes, like, exhales deeply into your face. Yeah, and it smells like testosterone. That's the name of this horse. This horse's name is Waking Nightmare. And, you know, I'm sure, you know, as I designed this very successful toy line, which it would definitely be, uh, there would be many, many other, like, horses, many other stallions that you could choose from. Uh, this is the first. And they'd each come, not with a comb, but with um, an action figure um, to ride uh, the stallion, even though the stallion does not need uh, any kind of rider. Um Let's give this guy the headless horseman. And we'll make him, you know, look, it, it is for kids. We, so we want this uh, decapitated man to be kind of like, you know, simplified. Uh, like if Fisher Price um, or Play School was going to make a headless man action figure, he would look kind of like this, you know. And keep it for kids. Kids toys sell really well. So, you know, this is the kind of thing that you want to give. 
Um, let's add some color to this. This is the kind of toy that you want to be able to give to your three-year-old nephew. You know, he'll dig it. And he could do, and like, this is, he can do stuff with it. He can ride all over his other action figures. That's coming together. Let's make his hair on fire like he's got a flaming mane. It's like hellfire. And here's our gentleman, headless horseman. And there it is, it's done. You can't tell me that's not a million times cooler than my little pony. All you bronies out there, what are you doing? Yeah, I better sign it. Again, this is my idea. It's my concept. I take ownership of it very proudly. Yeah. So that's it. That is, uh, you know, <laughs> that's my girthy stallion I'm showing you. Um, this guy's going to go up on eBay too if you want it. Uh, thank you very much for... Um, helping me to reclaim um, some ground uh, on behalf of all men in pop culture. I mean, we are underrepresented, and it's about time we did something about it. Even the horses are ladies. Ladies. <laughs>